this video creates a computer program that simulates traffic intersection signals. After you have finished your, the first Pi tutorials, it's time to try something that, uh, different that will expand your programming experience and learn more about electronics. This video has three assumptions. Number one, uh, your Pi computer is a loaded system that is working. Uh, number two, that you have already viewed another uh, Pi uh, tutorial on making one LED light up. And three, that you've written a simple Python uh, program yourself and run it. Our uh, traffic intersection has two directions. There's the east-west and the north-south. Uh, we're going to start with the east-west direction with uh, 10 seconds of green and then one second of yellow. And then it's going to change to red. And then on the other direction, north-south, it's going to stay red for one second and then it's going to start the uh, same sequence again. This project, you're going to need some other things. You're going to need a breadboard that's ours is three by two inches, and that's fine. And then you're going to need six LEDs, you need two green, two yellow, and two red. And you're going to need seven uh, jumper cables with a male connection on this end and a female connection on the other end. And then you're going to need six 330 ohm uh, resistors. And then you're ready to go. The circuit for each of the lights is shown here. We uh, start with the uh, pin on the computer and then it goes through a resistor and then to the LED and then to a common ground. We use resistors to limit the voltage across the LED so they'll last for a long time. Uh, the resistors uh, come in uh, different uh, values. Uh, there are four bands that show their value. Uh, the first band is the tens value and the uh, second band is the units value and the uh, third band is the multiplier uh, for the uh, resistor. Uh, resistor. We're going to be looking for an orange, orange, brown bands on the resistor. The uh, first orange is for 30, and then the second orange is for 3, and the uh, third uh, brown is for a multiplier of 10. So if we have 33 times 10, that's a 330 ohm uh, resistor. A lot of under connections. And you can see the uh, blue examples uh, show that the uh, bottom a row are all connected together and the uh, middle uh, two groups of holes are also connected together. The pink lines show all the under connections for the circuit for the green light. It starts with the black wire from the computer and then to the resistor and then to the LED and then to the common ground. The only wiring problem is that the LED longer leg 
must be connected to the resistor. Uh, that way that the LED will light up. Now it's time to start preparing for a breadboard. We're going to delay um, in plugging in the black uh, jumper cables until later. So let's start with the LEDs. Uh, the first one is green and we're going to insert it on the uh, right hand side of the board. Now be sure that the longer leg of the LED is plugged in the uh, middle of the uh, breadboard right next to the resistor. Then I uh, insert the yellow, insert the uh, red one, and then the jump a little bit of space and then repeat the process with a green, a yellow, and red. Next, insert the resistors for each of the LEDs. Uh, the uh, color bands, doesn't matter uh, what uh, direction they're facing, doesn't matter. So just insert the resistors uh, as shown right here in this example. The computer has a 26 pin connector. Uh, we're only going to be using seven of the pins in the uh, right column. Uh, these are general purpose uh, pins for input and output are also GPIO. Uh, the uh, top uh, green box is for green number one and that is named GPIO 14 inside our uh, program. Let's start connecting the computer uh, jumper cables. We're going to only connect the female ends for now. It'll be easier for you. Start with the fourth uh, pin to the green one, and then the uh, yellow one, and then the red one, and then our uh, ground, and then the, the green two, then yellow two, and then we're going to skip one pin, and then uh, red two. And let's uh, start with the green one, the rightmost green light on our breadboard, and uh, then just uh, connect them in the same order as on the uh, computer. Uh, uh, be sure that the fourth wire uh, goes to the uh, ground uh, hole. If you're new to programming in Python, uh, we need to discuss six different uh, concepts. The first is document your code so later you can understand why you wrote it that way. Number two, uh, variable names must be exactly the same. If you uh, capitalize any of the letters, uh, must be exact in any other uh, reference to that same uh, variable. Number three, we're going to be using uh, system programs to help us. Uh, one uh, counts the time and the other uh, allows us to control the GPIO pins to uh, control the LEDs. We're also going to be talking about arrays and the uh, two commands in uh, Python, the for statement and the while statement. Python ignores any uh, letters after a pound sign. So you can uh, leave yourself an idea uh, after any pound sign on a, a row in your program. Normally a computer variable has one value. 
but in arrays, you have uh, multiple values. In uh, the example shown, uh, we have a square bracket surrounding 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. The Python 4 statement allows you to have a, a group of indented commands that are repeated for each value in an array. And it's, it makes it easier to code your uh, programs. The Python while command allows one or uh, more indented statements to be repeated in while a condition is true. If we uh, code it saying while true, it's going to loop and never stop until uh, you uh, press down the control uh, button and then press on the letter C. This is the uh, first of three pages of our program. A uh, full screen will, will be uh, shown at the end of the video to make it easier to uh, read. There are two sub-programs we're going to be using and so you need to, one, if not already uh, loaded the uh, GPIO uh, subroutines, you need to uh, enter the SUDO command to do that. Uh, then in the Python program, we're going to have two commands that show that uh, we are using the GPIO and the time subprograms. I uh, use the uh, name traffic T. Traffic signals. In, in uh, writing this example, if uh, you use the same example, then uh, you can use exactly the uh, same uh, commands. The GPIO uh, cleanup command uh, initializes all the pins in the computer to a starter state. The uh, next command uh, tells Python we're going to be using the BCM names for all the uh, pins. Uh, there are different name ways and uh, we are going to use BCM. On the second page of our uh, program, we're going to name each of the colored lights and show the pin number for each of the uh, colored lights. Uh, an example, uh, green one is pin number 14. And then it just repeats for each of the colored lights. Uh, then we're going to put all the uh, pin names into an array named LED PINS, LED pins. Then we're going to use a for command and it's going to execute uh, for each pin name two statements. The first one identifies to Python that it's going to be an output pin. That means uh, it's going to control a light. And then on the second statement it's going to uh, turn the uh, light off. The next three uh, statements uh, set up the uh, time delay. So for green, it's going to be a 10 second delay. And then for yellow, it's 10% uh, of the uh, green 10. So 10% uh, of 10 is 1 second delay for yellow, and then the uh, red delay is going to be set to be the same as the yellow delay. Now we're in the uh, 
main loop of the control for the lights. Uh, the first command uh, turns on red one and turns off yellow one. Uh, maybe not make uh, not be uh, clear right now, but uh, when we get down to the end of the loop and come back and start again, it uh, it'll be clear why we're uh, doing that. Then we're going to wait for the uh, red time delay. And after that ex is uh, finished, then we're going to uh, turn the uh, green light. Green two is gonna go on, and the uh, red two is gonna go off. And then we're gonna wait for the uh, 10 second delay for the green. And this continues on through all the program. Since you have uh, run your own uh, program before, uh, you know how to write uh, your Python uh, code and to save it and then to execute it uh, later. Uh, in this situation, you're going to need to uh, execute the Python program in command mode. So that means that you need to uh, uh, type sudo then uh, python p and then the name of your uh, program with the uh, dot py at the end. And then uh, start it and it should uh, work just fine. When your project's completed, it should look something like this. We got a green and a red on, and then it goes to yellow, and then it goes to red on one side, and then we got green, and then it goes to yellow for a second, and then it goes to red for a second, and there are two, both reds will be on for a second, and then the other sequence will start with green, and then yellow, and then red. Hope things worked out for you. Two other uh projects are planned. One is a binary clock. It uses the same uh, breadboard, uh, just you change the LED uh, colors to something that's the same. And then we have a, a third project uh, that is a, a Roman uh, numeral clock. And uh, that is uh, only appears on the monitor. Uh, but it's a, a fun uh, program to uh, write. I hope this uh, project was uh, helpful for you. Uh, please uh, send me any uh, comments to my email address shown here. Uh, so let's uh, start cooking with your uh, pie computer.